Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So today I'm at my local skate park. This is somewhere I bring my kids regularly, but unfortunately it's quite a drab looking area and it's by the main sports centre which a lot of people come past every day. I approached my local council and asked whether I could do a mural on one of the main walls uh, to brighten it up and leave a positive message as people go past it. The difference about this mural is that I'm going to be using spray paints for the first time. So first up, I covered the wall with two coats of concrete masonry primer. This was to cover up what was already there to start with and also it helps with the lighter colours to make them pop off the wall. So I transferred the design onto the wall using the grid method. So on the computer I got my artwork and overlaid it with a grid and I then marked out that same grid using chalk and a tape measure onto the wall and that helped me to easily transfer the design. So I'm going to quickly run you through the tools I'm going to be using today. First up, mask, really important, health and safety, protect those lungs. This one's by 3M. Next up we have the spray paint. Uh, I asked a load of artists what they use regularly and uh, Montana 94 came out on top so I grabbed some of that in a variety of uh, colours. Some gloves just to protect your hands from the paint. Uh, something else I was recommended by a lot of artists was different size caps. So this helps to differentiate the width so fat ones for doing large areas and like thin ones for doing that detail which you need to do. Tape measure and chalks for uh, mocking up the design on the wall, uh, sketching that out. Masking tape and cardboard for doing straight lines and protecting areas when you're doing adjacent colours. Uh, and then the design in two different states, one with a grid on it so I can transfer the design onto the wall and another one with the final artwork so I can use it as reference when I'm spray painting. Uh, links for those will be in the description of the video. So this one took just over two and a half days to do, nearly a day of prep and then a day and a half of actually painting it. But now I'm going to go through what went well and what didn't go so well with this one. So a good thing about using spray paints is the speed and the coverage you can get the colours on the wall. I brought with me a variety of different width caps, that really helped. Uh, things that didn't go so well was uh, overspray. As you can see on the end here, as I was coming down the wall I I changed angle and that meant that the bottom of it got this like feathered off effect and onto the yellow whereas I got a nice clean line on the inner side. So next time I need to make sure I have a consistent angle as I'm going up and down the wall. So when it came to doing these black outlines I decided against using spray paint because I just don't have the skills to get that fine a line. So in the end I used the paintbrush and one shot enamel paint and I'm glad I did because I just really love the finish it's given me. So when it came to the word again I tried for the letter A, masking the whole letter, which took a lot longer, but gave a nice clean letter. Unfortunately, the lines on the edge were too harsh compared to the softness of the rest of it. So I tried freestyling the rest of the letters, but that was a bit of a nightmare because I had a lot of overspray and inconsistent lines. And then I had to spend a lot longer on it than I planned to clean it all up again. So the white dotted line worked really well to fill the space. And for this I used the template that I cut out of cardboard, uh, so it made it really efficient to do it really quickly. Uh, unfortunately I should have worked on a way to space it correctly because some of my spacing is wide in some places and narrow in the others, but something I can work on in the future. So for my first time spray painting I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I would love to know what you guys think. If you've got any questions then leave them in the comment section below, otherwise I will see you in the next video.